Calling your cat a bitch is the biggest power move. Call power move, bitches. Right, so. Uh, that one didn't even <laughs> make sense. No, that, that, that didn't, you know, because I'm, I'm stoned. And he's just, I'm the goofball. Not all jokes are winners. Alright, alright, alright. When shut up, I'm gonna do my intro. Okay. They are when I'm <laughs> We are no strangers to love. You know the rules and so do I. Full commitments what I. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host, Mo Diggity. Today we have a whole shitload of guests. We have Jesse, aka God. Pizza oh, the Mo- that's me. Yes, Jesse, that's him. Uh, we have uh, uh, Leslie Voorhees, who's decided to change his name to Pizza the Mo and his avatar into Pizza the Hut from the movie Spaceball. Say hi, Leslie. Oh, 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 oh. That's Job of the Hut. Like you're crossing all <laughs> sorts of franchises and shit. This is this is crazy. This Look, is just crazy don't, talk. Don't mess, don't mess with pizza. We're gonna have so because many. Next time, issues. pizza's gonna send out for you. Well, pizza's gonna send out for you. <laughs> we have newcomer Riley Brooks. Say what's up, bro. Hey, what's up? All right, and of course we have the illustrious, the lovely, and the awesome, the talented, the everything, Robin. Hey, what's Hello. up? What's up? <laughs> I just wanted to say illustrious, and it kind of just sort of snowballed out of control from there. So I think that's per- what you said last time too. Oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> it's solid word choice. I don't blame you. Thank you, thank it you. Is, yeah. All right, so it's today. A Oh yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's a good twenty-five set word. I'll, I'll give myself that little pat on the back, I suppose. So today I've decided to go ahead and make a. Oh, you know what's weird? Jesus, uh, I, I plugged a Jesus fan, weird. plugged uh, my little desktop fan uh, in, into here, right? Like uh, uh, to keep me cool and all that. And I, I got it in the uh, fucking power strip here. Whenever I turn it off, Windows. Uh, 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 this this fucking abomination of a goddamn operating system uh, gives me the uh, disconnect notice sound whenever I turn off the fucking fan, and it's not connected to anything whatsoever on the computer. It fucking freaks me out. Uh, but today I decided that we're going to talk about all the TV shows that we loved when we were a kid. You know, do they hold up to your standards now? Uh, like, uh, what do you remember from then? What do you think about the animation, the plot, the the fucking uh, voice acting, all that sort of shit. And uh, let's see, we were talking about yesterday. We I think we started out talking about the Ghostbusters series. Uh, Pizza, I know that you loved the Ghostbusters as a kid. So you want to start us off with what you think? I don't know. I I loved it as a kid, and uh, now I've watched it a couple times uh, recently. 
And it, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, the intro is great, <laughs> but that's about it. Yeah, I really uh, love. Yeah, I, I absolutely love the intro. The intro animation is fucking awesome, right? But once you, I, I like watched it with you a few years ago in your old apartment, and everything about it, like it looks, it looks fucking terrible now. Like with adult eyes, like it, not even trying to compare it to something like say reboot or anything uh, in the modern day, right? Like I wouldn't even co- uh, compare it to like say. Uh, 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 what was the Transformer uh, episode? Uh, what were the Transformer series where they uh, transformed into animals and it was all 3D? Anyone? I have no idea. Wait, can you repeat Wars. that? Maybe Beast I know what it is. It was god awful. It was what? Yeah. Oh was my god. god, it was god awful. The Beast Wars. Oh, Beast Wars, yeah. I, I love Beast Wars. That was the one. Well, I, 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 I liked it. And I only liked it because I'm sorry Optimus. About that. Well, Optimus well, Prime was a, Prime was a gorilla. Was a, well, yeah, and I mean, it was, it was <laughs> cool amazing. at the time, but, like, look, like looking back at it now, uh, I did quote-unquote research. I looked at a bunch of old, like, shows and shit that I liked, like the TV themes on YouTube, mm-hmm. and, um, you know, little clips. And to me, I mean, it was, yeah, it was Transformers, but it was, uh, which I guess maybe it always has been, but it was more of a fucking, like, buy our, buy our toys kind of show, like a marketing scam. Not a scam, a scheme. Damn, oh, I yeah. Know. I've had a lot of coffee today, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, but, uh, that, that's that's something that's really crazy is like when you watch stuff like the Ghostbusters and all these old shows, you, you recognize now, since you're an adult, how many fucking like little hidden toy commercials and plugs for their products are all in there. And that just makes me laugh my ass off because I wondered, why, you know, you <coughs> wonder why... I have a tinfoil hat on is because we're always being marketed towards in some weird subliminal way. And like when you realize that from like when you realize that as an adult, you watch your old cartoon shows, it really fucks with your head, man. Do you remember, uh, what was it? The flit? Like there's like the kid version of the Flintstones. Oh God. I, I, the I, kid um... version? The kid yeah. version? Isn't the Flintstones like, the kid version? Oh, oh it, no, it's no. Flintstone See, the, kids. The Flintstones was originally supposed to be like, was geared towards adults. Oh. Um, but it was uh, Flintstones, yeah, Flintstones kids or some shit like that. Yeah, it was Flintstone and, kids. Uh, I used to watch it all I, the time. I, I See, okay, so I remember, I remember watching it, but the only one that actually sticks out of my mind is the, uh, it was either the like no smoking like butt out fucking episode or it was like an anti drug episode, but it was like, oh god, it was fucking ridiculous. And like I get like all right, like some cool laurels or whatever, like fucking hey, drugs are bad and pay, but like uh, they're cavemen. Like, yeah, it's like dude, <laughs> come on, like what are they gonna do? Do they even know how to like the process that it takes to make like? Oh no, things? Fred's chewing on a tobacco leaf. Oh, can't have that. yeah, right. Haven't like, you seen terrible. Harvey Birdman, attorney at law? <laughs> <laughs> Look, he doesn't remember any of it, so he can't. Oh, man. I'm so glad someone got that. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, w- watching fucking Harvey Tur- uh, Birdman, attorney at law, that, that fucking show is stood the test of time for me. Uh, like, only like about, what was it, about 10, 15 years ago, really? How long yeah. ago was it? So that was that was that was my childhood, along with Billy and Mandy and like mm-hmm. Johnny Test and stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Dude, Johnny that... Test. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Quest. The Boomer Zoomer divide. Oh yeah, Dude, <laughs> uh, <laughs> when it when it comes to cartoons and shows, I've really noticed that there is a huge divide between uh, those those dudes who were born in the '80s and the people that were born uh, after like. Fucking nine eleven, basically. It, it, it's fucking nuts because I, I've I've talked about shit that was just April fourteenth, two thousand two. Boys, what's up? Thanks. Thanks. Am Thanks. I older than you? Once again, I'm Chris Hansen. Why don't you take a seat over here? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So those who were born after nine eleven and all that stuff. Uh, where were you? <laughs> where Sorry. were you when I had to make a book to nine eleven? And nine eleven was the best thing to fucking ever happen to the country music industry. <laughs> oh. No, 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 to the country music industry, to the country music industry. 
Okay, okay, like, let me Boy, finish I my... agree. Like, let I me... <laughs> just let me finish my Bo sentence. said that 9 should happen again. I had never oh, said that. Oh. <laughs> I never said that. that. This is lies. It was the lies. best thing that happened to America. No, 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 to the country. You, you the country. <laughs> you won Patreon. Cancel the episode. Delete it. To the oh, country. Oh, Mo, you're going to get my Saudi Arabian uh, viewers. Oh, okay, good, good, good. That's a that's a tough market to corner, man. Uh, no one's really gone for the I Saudi market it yet. I cornered Europe. Oh my god. <laughs> oh fuck, man. We 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 got off track. We got off track because it's a fucking goofballs. You're shit. the one who said it. Well, that is true. You said it. All right. Well, okay. My bad. I'll go ahead and own that then because it's on the record and like two kinds of recording. Mo diggity owning that he thinks 9-11 was the best. I didn't say no, 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 no. I mean, no, hey, no, I didn't to be say fair, that. to be fair, Leftover Cracks Mediocre Generica was released on September 11th, 2001. As was God Hates Us All's album by Slayer, man. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's a couple. Of, that's a factoid that people forget. It, or is uh, uh, fucking September 11th had some really good album drops. That doesn't make <laughs> what you're saying any better. <laughs> it really doesn't. You know what? Fuck. You know, man. Fuck country music, okay? Because that that's the shit. This is the reason why we, uh, we were even talking about that. Don't make me get Hank Williams the third to kick your ass. Oh, shut up. It Hashtag will. not all not all country music. Yeah, yeah, not all country music. I put dicks in my mouth. I'm right. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So let's get that back was, to this. That was very homophobic. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Shut up. Come on. 2019. <laughs> yeah, man. Be woke, bro. I hate nostalgia, you. Nostalgia, right? Uh, nostalgia. <laughs> yes, nostalgia for when everyone wasn't woke. <clears throat> anyway. 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 Um. <laughs> In... Anyway, the the point that I was even making before we got off, or I got off track, rather, the fucking, like, 80s to after 9-11 divide is fucking crazy, right? Like, I talked about the Osbournes the other day, right? And there were a bunch of kids that have no, or no, it, it wasn't about the Osbournes, it was uh, Post Malone, Ozzy on the fucking map, right? And the divide. Oh, Ozzy uh, yeah, Ozzy, Ozzy didn't even know who the fuck Post Malone was Dude, until he but... did that song. Because Here's of some fucking producer. Oh no shit! I, that... Yeah, he did not know because the same producer or some shit that worked with Post Malone worked on Ozzy's last album. And this whole thing where he's saying it's the greatest song he's ever done, or the greatest like bit of music, or whatever the fuck the quote was. He's not talking about the song that he did with Post Malone. He's talking about the album that he did that was with the same producer that hooked him up for whatever song he did with him. Oh, god damn. Like, dude, he didn't even know who the fuck Post Malone is. So it's, I, I just, I think that's funny as fuck. All these Post Malone fans are like, who's Ozzy Osbourne? But like, Ozzy's like, who the fuck is Post Malone? Yeah, that, but, you see. I mean, does Ozzy know who Ozzy is anymore? Then? Yeah, because he's done so many fucking drugs. So much drugs. But, um. Yeah, but here's the thing, right? The Osbournes was a uh, after was an after 9/11 fucking huge hit. Uh, fucking people like the the Osbourne Sharon Osbourne's name is still out there. People know who Sharon Osbourne is, right? And it's crazy because the Osbournes were just ridiculously huge in a really annoying, constantly commercialized all over the place way. And the fact that Zoomer that the Zoomer generation has no fucking idea what I'm talking about when I talk about the Osbournes, and that's recent shit, that fucking blows my mind, because it really does feel like these guys are all missing out on, like, a bunch of really cool shit from the past. Like, uh, the benefits that I've had from, uh, say, the 80s babies to uh, pre-9-11 uh, babies was, uh, we all had the benefit of Having everything from like the the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and, and to the 80s uh, 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 shown to us, right? We've all experienced it, and we had the benefit of hindsight, and we kicked that down to the early uh, millennials, and then the mids, and whatever the endings are supposed to be. I guess that's the, be the Zoomer class, right? Blah 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 blah. But the Zoomer uh, kids, it's like they don't have any real knowledge of the past at all. 
it's sort of like a weird fucking thing that it feels like the marketers and the advertisers of this world have managed to blank slate everyone's fucking brains from like post 9-11 born and on and that fucking frightens me man I don't know what to think about the future and like what nostalgia is going to be or if they re- uh, if they remember like recent TV history and shit because the post Malone thing fucking freaked me out a little bit Okay, well, boomer. slash slash. Jesse, at. well, Jesse and I are kind of in a weird position where, like, we don't fit in with either, really. <laughs> like, yeah, we're, we're like stuck in the middle. We're uh, boomer zoomers. We're both of them. We're both the Stereos Coconuts and and Monkey Jones. So. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Jeez. That's exactly what we are, and you can take that to the bank and cash it. I will not. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh man, what one of my favorite uh, uh, boomer zoomer moments? Was, uh, because, w- like, I-, I love how Mumkey trolls Asterios with, like, borderline right wing 4chan politics. And so, like, he <laughs> just goes, Come on, Asterios, say the 14 words and say them 88 times. <laughs> so he just casually drops oh, a 1488 yeah. fucking reference right in there. And he's just laughing his ass off. And, Mysteri- and Asterios is like, <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> what a typical zoomer. <laughs> it was okay, it was right is... after it was right after Monkey got terminated that I discovered Boomer vs. Zoomer and I listened to it like every week when it came out and it made me so happy and I'm sad that it's gone now. Oh yeah, it was a fantastic podcast, it... but you know, Monkey has the monkey out. Isn't it going to come back? Well, it's not going to, like, come back. Every but... every good monkey podcast gets canceled. In several social media argument is my favorite podcast of all time. Oh, for sure. 100%. 100%. I hate how, um, I mean, yeah, it's Monkey Jones and Digibro, so that's kind of a hard thing for people to get. It's a hard thing for people to get past that Digibro wall, and nowadays it's hard for them to get past the Monkey Jones wall. But if you can just accept that, it's, like, an amazing podcast, for real. I love Digibro, man. I got to say hi to Digibro once, and it was cool. I want to get some of Digibro's uh, dandruff in a jar. I, that's the only. Oh, oh my god! And I want to compare <laughs> scalps with him. I just want to compare his scalps because I feel like Digibro we're the same. went on the Dickheads podcast, and I was there, and I got to say hi to him. And Why it, did it, Cameron ever invite me onto the Dickheads? Jesse, podcast? Jesse, Jesse scratch what? the scalp. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm pretty yeah. sure the Dickheads podcast is dead. Oh yeah, it's, it's pretty much gone. Oh, look oh at my that. god! My, I the, the, the guy who edits the guy who edits the Dickheads podcast also edits one of my shows, and I haven't heard from him in like a week and a half. Which show <laughs> that uh, biggest problem in the universe spin off? Uh, you mean the thing that has completely nothing to do with biggest problem in the universe? I've it's never completely watched my own original it, creation. <laughs> Largest <laughs> issue in the galaxy. My completely gotcha. original podcast. Okay, yeah. That's I would think I mean. that it, I mean a galaxy is pretty small, you know. Ah <laughs> oh, shit! Uh, uh, fuck, man. Well, science well, nerd. <laughs> um, you know, I, I kind of like I I like Digi Bro, but it's just a uh, uh, it's just a lolly thing for me. It's just a, like it's a little bit too much, and I yeah, realize you let me into this podcast. I okay. I I don't want to know anything. I, I like, couldn't give a single fuck about the lolly shit. Like he's just kind of an idiot. I like I I I know I know, but it's just getting, it's just a engaged, little right, isn't he? There's he's... yeah, and, and like I don't I, feel like that's as big of a deal anymore. Now as long like... as the kids aren't real, do what you want. Yeah, that's my take on it. I don't I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, oh man, <laughs> no. Oh, no 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 no. Uh, I don't give a fuck. As long as you're not raping children, like I'm cool. Like just fucking do whatever. <laughs> it's all like a cartoon, man. I know it's just a cartoon, but it's still just like super, super gross. I, I just, I, I don't know, man. It's like, I like it. It's, it's how much of a fuss am I going to kick up a, 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 about a cartoon depiction of stuff? I mean, it's purely fiction, and it does absolutely nothing. But the, the, the flip side to this coin is the, the really kind of gross, disgusting mentality that you're kind of feeding and kind of uh, Dude, it's saying that it's bro. okay. No, 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 no. I'm talking about lolly stuff. Not, yeah, I not... know, but we were talking about, like, in perspective of Digibro. I mean, oh, oh, oh. for him specific, like, I'm not, like, you know, this Epstein fella can fuck right off. But Digibro, I feel like he is Digibro more is not a pedophile. He's a psychopath. I know he's not. A, I know he's not a pedo. And, like, well, it, I guess, like, 
it, I guess it's not him. It's just the like, if I can put him outside of the circle and just say, this is what I have the problem with, like the 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 feeding of that mentality and and oh, like maybe yeah, even yeah. like maybe even like uh, exacerbating the situation by like say by. Well, by kind of normalizing it a little bit, I, I think that's the issue I have with it. That, that's mainly the issue I have. I, I hate to think like that that PG Bro really is like that, and I don't, I don't think he is. It, it's just I don't know. I, it's, it's it's a hang up that I have. You don't you know? think he's actually into lollies? You think it's a bit? No, 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 no. I I, I don't think that. We're all saying we don't think he is into children. I I, I don't think that. <laughs> I don't think that. Yeah, God, what what kind of what would he possibly get uh, off that? There's not really a huge like. I don't know if people really want to corner the lolly market. If you know what I mean, it's like, hmm. I think I'll publicly admit that I like lolly, uh, uh, lollycon or, or whatever the hell it's called. Like, no, 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 no one really wakes up. I mean, wasn't think- there like yes, a twenty yes, minute yes. stretch on the Isma episode where he talked about how he wants to live in a cabin in the woods with his lolly sister until she's too was... old and then both kill themselves? I, yeah, okay, I did not know that. <laughs> Wait, what the? Yeah, he shit? said that he was gonna kill the fourteen year old girl, like the twelve year old girl, after she got too old. <laughs> no, is she? What? No, he wouldn't kill her. They just both commit suicide. Oh yeah, they both. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay, no, whoa, 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 hold on, hold what on, hold on. What nostalgia? <laughs> oh, okay, well, yeah, we'll, we'll get back to nostalgia in just a second. Um, but could you wow. elaborate on that point? Because that this is the first I'm hearing of that. So, let's back up to Cabin in the Woods and go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure it was a joke. That I, I'm pretty sure he was very drunk at the time. Well, okay, all right, mate. Uh, like, so you, okay, so, so, well, what's the consensus here? Are we talking about it was a joke or like his secret eternal dark fantasy? Okay, okay. I, I mean, I, who I, can tell, really? But I think it was a joke. I feel okay. like it was a mixture of both, since he was like, you know. It, it was the it was the ISMA. He's like feeling like he's getting really slammed, and he's just like, "Well, I can yeah, probably the just sound like a joke." And I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm trying to remember what the debate was, and I think it was, uh, "What is the American dream?" I yeah. think that was the debate. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So I, I gotta what what is was this on the procrastinators? No, this was on uh, insufferable social media argument. To show me the a, did it was some... bonus. All right, all right, all right. Tell you, oh, it's a fucking. Yeah, so it's behind a paywall. Was it a bonus episode? It well, it's was, not behind yeah. the paywall anymore. Because it got re-uploaded. Oh, no, got I like talking about like shit that I didn't schedule, just because it like just throws a curveball into the mix and makes things a little bit more interesting. Welcome to the Shwarmacast. Yeah, <laughs> welcome to the Shwarmacast featuring Mo Diggity. <laughs> it was the Fig Bat Digger Cast yesterday, uh, but I think uh, uh, so far the internet's doing really well, so we might be able to get the entire show out of it. And uh, if we do get the as long as nothing fucks up from here on out, uh, I guess I'll just have my first bonus episode. Uh, you know, and, and I think that'll be fun. And like, it, it's not behind a paywall or anything. It'll just be my first. One. You should. Yeah. Sure. You know, oh yeah. I'm. Nah. I, I, I'm. I'm not big enough to have any kind of Patreon or anything like that. I barely. I barely get any bits at all on uh, uh, Twitch. I get subs. Like, I get mad subs. I'm good at that, but. As far as like donos, you're never too small to have a Patreon. I disagree. I, I think there's like I have one. I just only get one dollar a month. <laughs> That's see, solid. Yeah, you see, that would fucking depress the shit out of me. What about, because... a, what about a coffee, a Ko-Fi? I don't know what that What's is. What's the difference? I know that Lou has one of those, but I don't know what it is or what well, it means. Well, I, I know that it supports Lou more like one-time donations as well. Once. It's a, uh, so it's like a PayPal. Hazen <laughs> Cruz has one. Uh... There's a few other creators I know has a uh, a coffee thingy, but I, I haven't really even looked into it. Coffee. coffee. Yeah, everybody listening to this, just feel free to put your money into our straight into our bank accounts. You can send us. A <laughs> Go to patreon.com/patreon.com/slash Patreon. Patreon. Riley. Yeah, patreon.com forward slash serious. <laughs> patreon.com. Well, slash, yeah, obviously uh, that's. Okay, God, I'm sure somebody already took that domain. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Blah blah blah. Um. So okay, uh, Riley, since you're yes. younger, all right, so, shut up. Uh, since you're younger okay. than, 
Since you're younger than all of us, you have a unique perspective. What are some, like, cartoons or some shows? I guess it doesn't necessarily have to be a cartoon. But, like, what show did you watch as a kid or when you were much younger? And have if you watched it recently, how do you think it compares to uh, your standards now? Here it comes. It's going to be Steven Universe. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a little beyond my time. I was uh, that came out. When did that come out? Like 2015. I was like 14 or something. That's childhood. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, I've never been the most big Steven Universe fan. I do. I did. I did tell Cameron Clark I'd watch it though, so I have to. <laughs> <laughs> um, so some of the shows that I watched as a kid on TV. Johnny Test got mentioned earlier. I watched that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. well, what what did you think of Johnny Test? So, so we have a point of reference now. As a kid, I thought it was hilarious, but now in my, my more mature state, <laughs> I realize how much of a shit show it was. <laughs> yeah, I've got to agree with you. I it went on Netflix, I think, like a year ago, and I was like, well. What's the harm in watching an episode? So I slapped one on, and it's all just weird, cartoony sound effects. It, it almost made me vomit. I was like, whoa. What's up, sweetie? Uh, hold, hold on a sec. W- w- where are you going, honey? Oh, bye bye uh, Where are y'all going? bye bye Yeah, okay. on the podcast. All right. I'll see y'all. Uh, sweetie, don't don't close the door on me yet. I was saying hi to bye to <laughs> your mom. All right. Uh, bye, Mary. <laughs> All right. All right, bye, sweetie. Have a good, one. have fun. You don't have to close the door. Damn. <laughs> like, oh man, my, my fucking family. Like, you can tell that she's a fucking Ramsey because uh, her her social graces are lacking. It's the quintessential American. <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't she on the podcast right now? I'm so disappointed. I should call her Mini Mo. Uh, no, I ha- I don't have a Mini Mo just yet. I think I might have had a scare once upon a time. Uh, that was that was a not. crazy ass week for both of us, dude. Like, yeah, and, you know, and then it finds out that a dude can't get another dude pregnant, and then I were off the hook. Yeah, anyway, totally so anyway, uh, so Riley, so uh, uh, Giant Test, what other shows have you watched? The funny, the funny thing about me when I was a younger child is like I feel like I was kind of a time displaced '90s kid because <laughs> half of oh, my I was life born in late wrong generation. <laughs> Yeah, I, I should have been. Exactly. I, I because, constantly, I constantly think I should have been born in the sixties. Anyway, go ahead. Because the thing, the thing was, when I was younger, most of my entertainment came to me through a VCR, where I watched shit from the nineties, like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and the original Pokemon. Okay, so what? Oh, oh God, Pokemon! Uh, what, what do you think about? <laughs> all right, so like, would you say that you're a huge Pokemon fan? Like, who here's a Pokemon a- fan? Massive I Pokemon fucking thing. love Pokemon. All right, you know we'll start from the oh. bottom and then up. Robin, uh, what do you think of Pokemon, like the the original series of then to now? All right, well the original series is very good, of course. I like I, I, it's impossible to deny that. But like, can we just take a minute to talk about how Ash took this fucking long to beat a Pokemon League? For Holy real. shit! I, I watched all nah, the way. He to did the... it in season. He did it all the way back in season two, man. The Orange League. That doesn't count. I watched that, it all the yeah, way. That so, I, I think I watched it all the way to like Diamond and Pearl, and like, didn't he? Didn't he get to the to the champion and then have three Pokemon no, he versus the one? And he, fi- fought? he got to the he got Am to I the semifinals of the then? tournament, and then he fought Game Shark, the trainer. And Am I thinking of black and white? Thing? He had three. He had three <laughs> Pokemon left. He had three versus one, and he fucking lost. Against the champion in like black and white or some shit. It was uh, unbelievable. I don't think he ever fought the champion like per se. He definitely lost to it the was, champion before. It was always like a tournament where like you fought for the right to fight the champion and he's never made it past it. The farthest he the farthest he'd ever gotten before Lolo was the finals in Kalos when he lost to uh Elaine, the dude with the Mega Charizard. Yeah, he's a, what a loser. <laughs> <laughs> He just poor Pokemon choices. Like looking back on it now, poor Pokemon choices and just like bad strategy. And he's also, had to like, be more ruthless. His Pokemon didn't want to evolve, and he allowed that. He should have said, "Fuck also, you, like, evolve." Oh well, I want to use the local Pokemon, except for Pikachu. But like, I want to use all the local Pokemon. That, it's like you have a fuck. You have like level hundreds. What are you doing? It pisses me off because like he he went uh like it can be done. Like the argument I hear is like he's gonna go on a journey to a new region. He has to have Pokemon from that region. 
But it can be done because in the Johto series, he brought his Pokemon with him, and it still worked out just fine. And it's, Pikachu. It's, he, wasn't, he brought more than just Pikachu and Johto. He brought his entire team. And then he caught new Pokemon along the way, and he rotated between them, and it worked out just fine. It works. It's a system that works. He can use his old Pokemon. Toys! Toys and cards, Riley. <laughs> he didn't even... He didn't even have six Pokemon this season in Alola. He didn't even have six Pokemon. Yeah, he's a fucking like, he idiot. Could... I'm glad he's gone. Like, yeah. good riddance. Get the fuck out of here, he's, Ash. He's not Done. gone. He's not gone. It got announced he's not gone. Oh, great. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. I've got more grievances with Ash, too. Hasn't he met I was hoping. I was hoping they'd turn the manga. Every... Riley, one at a time, one at a time. Hasn't he yeah. met literally every single legendary Pokemon, and he just doesn't catch any of them? Has he caught one of them? Because I don't think I've seen all of them. Either. They deserve to be free. They're sentient. I don't want to catch God. Latios <laughs> had a crush on him, too. She totally would have came with him. <laughs> Latios turned himself into a turned herself into a human girl and kissed him. That yeah, I mean, like, I understand not catching, like, Entei, <laughs> but catching Latios would have been fine. But, like, yeah, yeah, I, I get not getting Entei or, like, you know, some of the other legendaries he's seen, but, like, come on, dude. I actually heard somewhere that it was in, like, the early script of the movie that he catches that Latias, and they were like, nah, it's too powerful. Can't do it. Uh, damn. All right, I did not expect to get off on a Pokemon tangent. Well, I kind of did, but the, the awesome, awesome, because I don't know anything of what you guys are talking about. I've only yet watched, like, maybe two, three Pokemon episodes in my entire life. I've seen the first Pokemon movie, and that's about as much time as I've ever uh, dedicated to a single Pokemon thing. I did play Pokemon Go with all my friends and stuff for a mm. while, and I really enjoyed it, but we all stopped playing, and, and I wasn't about to waste what gas I had, what little money I had, uh, trying to catch Pokemon around my town. <laughs> Fool. That's exactly what I'm doing. Shit. I ain't got, no, I ain't got enough Same. money to do that. I, I, I wish I did. I wish I had the gas money. Or, like, the big enough city to just, like, walk around. Uh, like, if I were living in Austin, like, I would be playing Pokemon Go all the time. But, like, I live in this podunk town, and I fucking hate it. And I'm not about to go walking anywhere, so fuck that shit. But, uh, Robin, uh, you never did gi give us your take on, on, on Pokemon? Or, like, the, the, the series itself. We all, everyone went off on an anti-Ash tangent. So, w what do you think about the show now and blah, blah, blah? Well, yeah, before before it was good. Now it is, like, tiring as fuck. It gets hard to watch, like it's an endurance test? Sometimes. Not every episode, but, like, a lot of them are just like, Jesus Christ. Like, I can't believe I actually liked this shit as a kid. Like, like wh where do you find yourself going, where the fuck, why the no, fuck did I'm, I like this? I mean, this? I'm sure if I could, like, if I erased my memory or something of all Pokemon things and watch it again, it would be good, but, like, uh, having the knowledge I have now of the Pokemon series, like having seen it before, watching it is just like, why do I care about like this episode? It's like I could, I could cut out like eighty five percent of it and it be completely like okay. Watch. Yeah, it's is that that's the same reason why I've never uh, watched uh, uh, any of the Pokemon uh, uh, shows except Digimon. I like Digimon. But, uh, well, that's not Pokemon. Digimon I, I, I Pokemon don't. Show? No, like, isn't Digimon sort of, like, within, like, the same realm of existence? No. 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 What the fuck did you just blast me? <laughs> I'm not a fucking Pokemon fan. I was playing fucking How Magic the Gathering when everyone was playing Pokemon. I was playing nobody, MTG. Nobody plays Pokemon. Good day, sir. Don't you dare fucking leave over my, you know, shenanigans. But, no, 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 I, I thought, like, Pokemon and Digimon were, like, Related because they had the word mon in there, and it was exactly the same premise. It just stands for monsters. Oh, dude, there's a pseudo right in my house. The mon just stands for monsters. You know, you know why they're almost the same thing? Because Pokemon was super popular, and the people who made po Digimon were like, hey, let's do that, except different, so we can have some of that money. Pokemon what? is pocket monsters, and Digimon is digital monsters. They're just two different things. So what, so what you're saying is... So what you're saying is, is it time to do Digimon? It? Fucking that's a better show. Oh, hold on a sec before we start talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. I like Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, but um, <laughs> uh, 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 so what you're saying is Digimon Go Bot Go Botted the, f 
fucking uh, Pokemon series. It's yes. the GoBots of the Pokemon of the Pokemon series. Yes. Go- Basically. Oh well, Pretty see, much, yeah. see, I liked the GoBots when I was a kid, right? I would never watch it now because it, it's just fucking horrible. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Oh, and, like, Digimon I can't make. It's still great. It's just. No, I was talking Pokemon about. Robot. I was talking about. Yeah. Uh, I was talking about GoBots. Hold on. I'm talking about GoBots, Riley. <laughs> GoBots. But yeah, have, have you ever? Yeah. Uh, uh, question: Have you ever seen GoBots? I don't nope. believe so. Dude, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, GoBots is fucking awesome, right? The, back in the day, which was Wednesday, uh, fucking GoBots was like, all right. So, Transformers ruled everything, right? When they were telling the parents that the kids need the toys, or else the character on the show is gonna die, because that's what the advertisers wanted. Uh, that's why Optimus Prime died in the Transformers movies, because he was his uh, toy wasn't selling well. And then <clears throat> when when they killed him off in the fucking movie, parents went fucking ape shit over it. They called the fucking studio saying, "You fucking sorry motherfuckers." The kids are crying in the background, like they went fucking like uh, uh, like people like parents walked out of the theater. It was like a whole huge ordeal. Like the kids, like it was reported that kids were just like screaming and crying in the theaters when Optimus died. Just because his shit wasn't fucking selling, and I, I that that fucking blew my mind when I found out that that's pretty much how the, the entire industry works is is fucking at the whim of the advertisers. But got off on a tangent about that. Uh, GoBots, uh, uh, see, Transformers ruled the digital. Uh, well, no, not the digital. Uh, the uh, the analog robotic uh, fucking early '80s fucking uh, Saturday morning cartoons world, right? And some dude decided. Hey, fuck that! I want a piece of that Robo Pie, and made fucking GoBots, which is almost a carbon copy of Transformers, except they were uh, sl- mostly sleeker cars, and the toys were cheaper. And I had a bunch of GoBot toys when I was a kid. I had a bunch of Transformers too, but uh, I ha- I was a huge fan of the GoBots when I was a kid. It's essentially just a fucking cheap knockoff of uh, uh, Transformers. It had it had its own t- uh, two legs to stand on. It had a coherent story and all that, and it was really fun to watch. But at the end of the day, the GoBots sort of became like the booby prize of the animated series world because that w- they became sort of a joke that people reference, like like I did earlier, like. The the Digimon go went go bots on the fucking Pokemon. That's that's just fucking crazy. Anyway, uh, uh Riley, what do you, what do you think about a uh, uh, Pokemon then now? It's uh it's still great. Uh, the old Pokemon still holds up. I like the voice acting better the new Pokemon most times. Okay, okay. So like, uh, there's de- there's definitely a noticeable difference, huh? Yeah, there was a voice actor change after like the third season. In the middle of the third season, there was a voice actor change because they, uh, the different companies started handling the dubbing, and the dubbing is much worse now. Oh, dude, w- w- when when fucking Funimation did that with Dragon Ball Z, because there was a huge, huge fucking gap between in the Frieza saga, right, where it was supposed to be a uh, uh, Goku going Super Saiyan for the very first time. It took them years. Years to uh, uh re to to release the second part of that arc, man. And we every time when we were a kid, right, we would watch it up until that one episode uh, of the Frieza saga, where like you can see uh, Goku getting more and more pissed off. And every fucking day we'd get to that boom, fucking right back to episode one, and I'm like fuck. And uh, but anyway, the point I'm making is this. So the the group of voice actors that they had for DBZ, they switched it up with the re-recording, and it was real hard on the fucking ear. Like, I thought Piccolo and Vegeta sounded fucked up. Uh, fucking Goku sounded stupid. And You talking about the current voice actors? Well, sounded yeah. stupid to you? Well, yeah. like, uh, when, when, uh, when you're so used to the old crop, and you were watching it, uh, versus, like, the new crop, it doesn't hit the ear quite as well, and I, I fucking hate that shit, especially without, like, really any kind of warning. Well, let me tell you something. Funimation is about a million times better than four fucking kids. 
Oh, yeah, oh four kids God. were the. <laughs> nah, before the four kids Pokemon dub was really good, though. Well, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm talking about I'm talking about uh, uh, changing the voice actors like in the middle of the series. Yeah, that's that's rough. So, all right, all right, Brian, what do you think, Pokemon? Blah 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 blah. Um, I mean, all right. So I loved it as a kid. Uh, I act. Uh, I was actually part of a. Uh Uh-oh. I don't know. I like to say a, uh, marketing. Uh, what? Oh, I just said uh oh. Oh shit. Okay, so no. Uh, I got this video from fucking Toys R Us when I was probably about like ten or some shit, and it was fucking uh, Professor Oak telling me all about Pokemon and the trading cards that are coming and the show that are coming and the game that's coming and blah. Like bye 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 bye. Um, and I fucking ate it up, man. <laughs> like I loved it, and uh, now um. I don't know. I I kind of I kind of fell off of, uh, of the of the actual show probably a while ago. I've seen like a couple of movies, and, but um, I was watching I think like first season again, and um, I don't know. I actually like it's it's a little bit cheesier, a little more juvenile to me now, but I still enjoy it. All right, all right. So like you'd say that your nostalgia for the show sort of holds up to now. Yeah, I mean it's it's I I guess I kind of watch it in the same way that I that I rewatch Fraggle Rock. Like I, I mean like it's it's kitty, it's you know man, but like I I still love. It. I mean I'm not putting Fraggle Rock and Pokemon on my level of loving the shows on the same part of the graph, but um yeah I don't know it yeah it's 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 great for nostalgia. The Fraggle Rock show that that's a show that really held up. In in my opinion, I, I I really liked it when I was a kid, and I don't remember when I did it. I think it was in like the last like five or seven years. I ended up watching a whole slew of Fraggle Rock uh, uh, episodes. That was and probably I, I really with me. Oh, probably. <laughs> I, I, mean, I still I had the whole series on oh, DVD. Yeah, we used to get fucking baked and just watch all sorts of shit at your fucking house. Uh, yeah. Um. Well, shit. I guess if it's with you. Well, anyway. Um, yeah, I, I really, I really enjoyed the shit out of it. I still think, well, that, that, uh, I still think that it holds up and, uh, it, it's, it's puppets for crying out loud. So really the, uh, the, the social, uh, or the, the social commentary references and stuff are really the only things that are going to be like dated. But other than that, if there are really any in, in the Fraggle Rock, uh, uh, series, which I'm sure there are, but, uh, looking back from then to now, I think it still holds up, and I think it's one of those good, uh, uh, good examples of nostalgia done correctly, and that has uh, lasted the test of time. Uh, Jesse, we'll, we'll we'll end the Pokemon stuff with you. What are your thoughts? All right, um, I I don't have a lot of nostalgia for the original anime. I watched it like the same way I watched other shows. I'm just like, well, this is on, and you know, Johnny Test is over, so I guess I'll slap this on the screen but um what really got me as a kid was the uh, pokemon cards i just i think two weeks ago i bought a more poke i bought pokemon cards for the first time in like five years oh shit and i and i opened it up and they've got like this weird ass they've got like two guys on a card now and it's all it's all crazy and i was like what is this and that's when i Those realized are so Wait. cool though the tag team cards i mean they're cool but i mean i'm like what is this this isn't what i remember uh, like they don't even have DXs. I'm like, well, I guess I'm feeling a little nostalgia for those old days. So I guess <laughs> I, I've got more of a nostalgia for the uh, Pokemon cards. Okay, so like you're you're more of the uh, the product rather than the cartoon, huh? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, there was a lot of Pokemon playing uh, ba- back in uh, my day. Back in my day in high school, <laughs> everyone played the Pokemon. God, I sound like Asterios. Fuck. Because I keep, <laughs> for some reason or another, I keep wanting to say the Pokemans, and I want to like, yeah. I want to, I want to G golly swing my arm whenever I say Pokemon cards or something old, and it fucking makes me like. I think maybe I made a mistake of doing this pod, do this episode, because now I feel old as shit. And like, it, what what really frustrates me is you guys talking about Pokemon, and that was right in my wheelhouse, right? But I know fucking dick. Uh, about uh, is the Pokemons. It's kind of funny, and uh, but it just it makes me feel so old. And it, it's really it's no one's fault but my own. But you know, blah blah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, all right, so I think we we've almost gone about an hour now. I think we're doing really well. Uh, uh, Brian, I know that you've got to wrap up because you got your kids. So uh, let's go ahead and just uh, end on a lightning round question. Robin, we'll start with you. What's your favorite show uh, as a kid? Uh, something that you'd watch gladly now, over and over again. Well, that's easy because I have watched it over and over again. It's Avatar: The Last Airbender. No shit, God, that, that's such a great cartoon. I, I really enjoyed the hell of it. One but, of the best pieces of media ever made. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, uh, I thought Korra was really good too. Like Legend of Korra, they, they, I mean, I, I kind of, I would recommend to stop after the end of the third season because I, I think if we uh, uh, Empire, uh, you know, strikes back, if the Empire strikes back, to, uh, 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 that show at that, you know, end on such a down note think that would have been a lot better than the fourth season that we got but whatever uh you know we we got that uh oh fuck what was i and what there was a, yeah there was a dude here and i was dragging him in and then he uh ended anyway yeah he made me fucking mess up my goddamn thought yeah i, I think it would have been a lot better what than the it would have been a lot better if they ended it on the on the third season because the fourth season was a travesty and it wasn't so much the showrunner's fault it was fucking Nickelodeon's fucking fault because they really fucked them pretty hard there. Yeah, they screwed that whole series up. Like oh Korra. yeah, oh yeah, yeah they did. Um, Riley, what, what's a show for uh, as a kid that you watched that you'd watch gladly over and over again? Uh, Power Rangers. I was a Power Rangers a kid, and I'm still into it now. Here, get on the mic a little bit because we can barely hear you, bro. I said Power Rangers. I was super into it when I was a kid. I watched reruns of like the old Power Rangers on Jetix and on VHS, and I still watch them today on there. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Hey, Player Loaded. How you doing, buddy? Sorry, you kind of got into at the very end of the podcast, but uh, uh, we'll go ahead and ask you, what's, what's a show that you loved as a kid that you gladly watch now as an adult? Oh, man. Back in the day, I could tell you so much. Uh, I guess it would have to be... Uh how it's made i loved how it's made every single time i would go ahead and watch an episode i learned something new about the industry oh dude i, I can watch that here uh can you get yourself push to talk buddy i'm getting some feedback for you um i remember uh, I, I would watch that show and i i love hot wings or hot links or whatever it is it's the uh the youtube show or hot ones there we go yeah, hot ones. Uh, hot uh, I thought it was fucking hot links. I'm also hungry. <laughs> uh, that's kind of why we're uh, nearing the end of the show here. But uh, um, uh, watching hot ones and how it's made, uh, those are my go-to uh, shows. That and every once in a while, I'll go on a huge binge, uh, binge watch of uh, No Reservations with Anthony Bourdain. Uh, that was one of my favorite fucking shows of all time when I was much younger. I'd watch those over and over again. But uh. All right, Brian. Let's go ahead and uh, you to you. Uh, what's the show from then to now? Yada yada. You know the you know the bit. So um, I'm actually just gonna go with three because I'm an indecisible fucker. <laughs> um, lucky for you, I just forgot one of them. <laughs> um, uh, so Invader Zim. Oh uh, yeah, I've got to draw. Here we go. Because that that is one of my favorites of all like of all time. But I mean I. I grew up reading fucking like El Vasquez, the fucking um, uh, Roman Dirge, and all that shit. Yeah, uh, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. So like, of course, like I see an animated series, and I'm like attached to it. Uh, I still fucking love it. I'm actually like I I was pretty fucking impressed with the uh, with the reboot, especially um, the movie doing Enter yeah, the Florpus, the dude. I loved Enter yeah, the Florpus, especially for not really like pulling too much on that nostalgia thing because Vasquez hates for nostalgia shit. Yeah, yeah, it, um, it, they did really the, the, the way they pull at you, it rather. Yeah, they did really, really well with just uh, uh, just being another episode of Invader Zim, and they they didn't go crazy with uh, the callbacks or anything. They set everything up, and, and they even had some new stuff in there, like uh, uh, the dude who does Rick and Morty. Uh, what, what's his fucking name? Uh, the one with the goatee. Harman? Yeah, Dan Harmon has a couple of voice lines in yeah. there. Yeah, I, I, yeah, um, I, I kind of heard uh, the the Morty voice a bit in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was uh, he was the the fucking breakfast robot or whatever. Yeah, and he was the guy uh, that said that. Uh, 
Well, uh, during a fucking Professor Membrane's fucking speech, he was like, I am not Pulsonite scientifically possible! <laughs> he was that guy. That was him. Yeah. yeah dude, but I, I love the shit out of it. And uh, I think the only real callback that they did was with the tallest. And I, I think they were just sort of like through them mocking uh uh the the old shit a little bit and it was fucking funny because they you, you could have gone like the entire time uh without like the tallest at all but that's also blasphemy because i want the tallest in there uh but yeah tallest! god oh god tallest! yeah uh what, what what vasquez and all them did tallest? was fucking fantastic all right uh jesse let's go ahead and end this questionnaire with you what you got all right uh I'm going to have to say Billy and Mandy because uh oh, yeah, hell yeah. Mandy, yes. There's a um bit in Billy and Mandy where Voltaire, I really like this artist. Voltaire sings a song called Brains. Um and oh, and yeah. as I when a little as I was a little kid I was like jamming to this Brains song and like about a year or two ago I I looked up who made it. I'm like I'm going to listen to this guy's other music. I listened to his other music and I was like, "Dang, this is pretty cool." And that got me into Harley Poe, and that got me into Rusty Cage, and that's yes. pretty much the only reason I'm here right now. No if, shit. If Billy and Mandy hadn't got me into Rusty Cage, which had got me into Monkey Jones, which had got me into Lou, which had me gotten into all, all the shenanigans, I probably wouldn't be doing podcasting. Oh, no We're gonna shit, have to man. talk music, Jesse. Oh, definitely, oh, yeah, definitely. Because, sure. yeah, you just pretty much listed off, like, yep, I like that, that, that. Harley Poe, too? Harley Poe, dude, I love Harley Poe. Okay, let's... Internet high five because. <laughs> I, I um I think mine you, is. Are, did we just become best friends? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Cool. All right. Well, uh, I think mine's definitely uh man, God, I, I think it would definitely be Invader Zim, and uh, I'll get I'll just let me get away with one. Uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Uh, because, oh, yeah. uh, dude, like, the, there's just, like, I, I am, uh, absolutely obsessed with the blank out of context, uh, fucking Twitter, uh, 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 uh accounts yes. here. Because I, I, I'm friends with the people who, who, with the dude who runs the one with Billy and Mandy, uh, Fosters, and fucking, I'm trying to get to, uh, to know the one who does Invader Zim. But those three right there, like, I will get fucking so stoned and fucking lose like 45 minutes vaping out, quote unquote, vaping outside. But really, I'm just obsessively laughing at my phone and watching shit out of context. Like the one, uh, it's uh, Lou's trying to show up Coco for some reason. And he flips these fucking like tickets or something. And with uh, he slaps his ass twice on one side, switches, slaps his ass twice on the other side, and gives her a shit-eating grin. And I watched that like ten times in a row. It's like a five-second clip, but it's the funniest fucking thing. And I think that's why uh, like uh, uh, Foster's uh, worked for me so well, because I watched that when I was much, much younger, and I watch it now. I, I still love it, probably even more than I did when I was a kid. Anyway, uh, uh, Robin, let's go ahead and ask you, do you have anything that you'd want to hawk? That you want to hawk? Any uh, projects or social uh, media or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, um, you can find me on Twitter, at Insight Alloy. That's also where I stream on Twitch. It's uh, twitch.tv slash Insight Alloy. Then you can find my podcast stuff at uh, asepresents.com. Alrighty, uh, Riley, you got anything, bud? Uh, sorry, what, I was distracted. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you have... <laughs> Get it. He doesn't get it. Move on. <laughs> no, no, no. I will do that. Um, <laughs> uh, Riley, do you have like a Twitch channel or a podcast that you'd like to promote? I do. I do a couple of podcasts. There's the that we talk about Pokemon a lot here. I'm on the Arceus We Trust Pokemon podcast, which you can find on already. Podcast oh, platform. And then my YouTube channel, Riley Brooks, is where you can find like a million other podcasts about various things. All right. Nice. Nice. Is that it? Uh, yeah. That's it. All right, good deal, good deal. Uh, player Loaded, do you got anything you want to promote, man? Well, now that you bring it up, I would love to go ahead and uh, advertise my YouTube. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to do it. It's the same thing, Player Loaded, one word, you'll find me quick. Nice, nice, nice. Sorry you got here so late, man. You uh, you missed most of the episode, but I'll make sure to put your stuff in there. And now that you're part of the Discord, I can <coughs> tag you. Um, uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I think you're from the Cripplecast uh, Discord, right? 
Oh, no, I'm from the Unhappy Kids Club. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Oh, okay, okay. I, You know, I'm, uh, I have like 51 discords I'm following. I get people fucking mixed up with them all the fucking time. Um, <laughs> it's the crutch, am I right? Right. All right, uh, uh, Leslie or Brian or Pizza the Hut or Mo, whatever the fuck Pizza you're the going. Mo. Yeah, Pizza <laughs> the Mo, whatever you're going by today, what, what do you got for me? <laughs> Um, all right, yeah, so you can get me on uh, Twitter at Drag Rat Survivor. Um, YouTube is Drag Rat Survivor, Facebook as well. And, uh, you know, if you want to spend uh, some money on stickers at uh, Teespring, it's also Drag Rat Survivor. Um, oh. And uh, Bandcamp as well. I just put up a, a nice little cover and uh, some little uh, ambient stuff as well. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, before we end this, I forgot, or before we get to Jesse forgot to mention that we have our first ever fucking fan submission for the uh uh, uh what was this uh a uh, fan fan song there we go fucking fan song you're the very first one that'll be the intro for the uh, for the episode this is only like a buck 33 so uh yeah man i won't spoil it for you but i i listened to it last night and i fucking laughed my ass off it, <laughs> it's it, it's a good it's a good cover it's it's good for the show it fits the flow of it man but yeah, we'll have that linked up, and we'll have all this stuff in the description below. Uh, Jesse, what do you got, bro? Well, I've already said the Shormcast, great podcast, fantastic, never does anything wrong. But it also, as of late, I've um, made a YouTube, and I put a very good song on there that I think everyone should listen to. It's my own original creation. It's called See You Later, Virgins, and it's all about 4chan. <laughs> Oh man, I've I'm, I'm, heard it and I fully support it. Yeah, me too, me too. I'm going to go check that out here after we get done with all this. All right, uh, well, everyone, it was a real huge pleasure having you on the show and all that. Thank you to all those who are listening and all that. Go ahead and hit the follow button, ring the notification bell, or whatever fucking thing that you have to do on whatever platform I'm putting this shit on. Go ahead and just do that. And until next time. Right. Woo! Yeah. Woo! That was it. that was fun all after right, all right, all right. Uh, a, a week off for seemingly no reason. I'm pretty Tell sure we spent it. thirty minutes talking Dude. about nine eleven. <laughs>